Please welcome Congressman Byron Donalds of Florida. Good evening, Milwaukee. You know, Milwaukee, we're on live television. You got to let me get to the speech now. Thank you. I'm Byron Donalds, and I come from the great state of Florida. And I proudly represent the people of Southwest Florida. But I was raised by a single mother in Brooklyn, New York. Life was hard, and we struggled. When I was in the first grade, my mother took me out of public school because she could see that public education was failing me. I needed to be challenged, and I needed the opportunity that only a private school could provide. My mother is an educator, and she truly believed in my potential. But Democrat politicians wanted to trap me in a failing school, but my mom fought for me. Mom, I just want to take this opportunity to say thank you. Thank you, Mom. Words cannot describe how deeply grateful I am to be your son. When I was in the seventh grade, my mom lost her job. We went on government assistance, and my grandma helped us pay for private school. My mom and my grandma sacrificed to ensure that I could build a successful future through a commitment to academic achievement and hard work. I'm standing here today as a result of their love, good and safe schools, and great teachers. And to the teachers of America who pour your heart and your soul into your students and teach the next generation to love, honor, and serve our great country, we all say thank you. But what about those kids whose parents can't scrape money together for private school? Don't those kids who grew up like I grew up deserve the same chance that I had? Joe Biden and Kamala Harris sent their kids to high-priced private schools. But since they are in the pocket of the far-left teachers' unions, they trap poor kids like me in failing schools with no way out. They say they're pro-choice, but not if you want a choice over what your kids are taught. Donald Trump believes every parent deserves a choice and every child deserves a chance. And in November, when Donald Trump is elected our nation's 47th president, we will make sure all America's children get that chance. Growing up poor, I know the pain of high food prices, high energy prices, and housing costs. I remember as a kid, my mom yelling at me, turn off that light, you don't pay the bill. We know there's a bunch of kids in America today who are hearing that from their parents. The massive inflation created by Joe Biden and Kamala Harris has only made it worse. During my first term in Congress, I served on the Budget Committee and the Small Business Committee. We told Joe Biden that his so-called American Rescue Plan 
was going to cause inflation. The Biden-Harris administration told us not to worry, but I knew better. I have nearly two decades of experience as a financial professional, and the evidence is in. Go to any grocery store, buy eggs, buy beef, buy milk. Even housing prices have skyrocketed. All Americans deserve a shot at the American dream. But under Joe Biden's debilitating economic policies, far many Americans, far too many, for far too many of them, that dream has slipped away. This shows that we were right, that Joe Biden was wrong, and that you, the American people, are paying the price. As Americans, we've all been struggling. The disastrous results of the Biden-Harris agenda transcend race, religion, or income. But under President Trump, all of this will change. And if there was ever a time in our nation to come together, that time is now. With Trump, our economy will boom again. You will have more money in your pocket again. And your children will have a future again. Together, I know we will make America wealthy again. And together, America, we will make America great again. God bless you, Milwaukee. God bless the United States of America.